in question nine, we're facing the following scenario. Suppose government spending increases. Would the effect on aggregate demand be larger if the Fed held the money supply constant in response or if the Fed were committed to maintaining a fixed interest rate? Explain. As per usual with this type of questions, we start by analyzing what's going on in the money market. So we make a simple supply and demand graph for money. On the x-axis, we have our quantity of money M. On the y-axis, we have our interest rate R. Uh, if government spending increases, aggregate demand rises. We know that. So money demand rises. So we move from MD1 to MD2. And this, in turn, this increase in money demand leads to a rise in the interest rate. As we can see, interest rate rises from R1 to R2. And now this increase in interest rate activates a crowding out effect. As we remember, the impact of the effect of government spending on aggregate demand is twofold. On the one hand, we have a positive impact through the multiplier effect, but on the other hand, we have a negative impact through the crowding out effect, which is activated by higher interest rate. So in fact, the aggregate demand curve AD1 will shift not all the way up to AD2 prime, but only up to AD2, the blue line. Now, in contrast, if the Fed maintains a fixed interest rate, then they will have to necessarily increase the money supply. Money supply increases from M1S to M2S on the graph on the right. And uh, what is the effect on that? Since the interest rate remains constant, we have no crowding out effect, so aggregate demand will not decline. In fact, it will rise all the way up to 82 prime. Because, in, um, because we don't have a crowding out effect, we will have a pure positive fiscal multiplier effect. So to sum up, the effect on aggregate demand from an increase in government spending will be larger if the Fed maintains a fixed interest rate.